Hey guys, welcome back to another video on Kali Linux. In this video, I will introduce the new release of Kali Linux and will walk you through the installation process. Let's see what this new release brings for us. As you can see, it has many updates and features as well as many new tools. For example, it has a new VM image for Hyper-V. It has some desktop updates, new apps and icon menu items. But the most important thing for us is uh, new tools. This is the list of new tools. As you can see, some tools are for the Kubernetes, containers and cloud. But I'm looking for the tools from ethical hacking perspective. So first one is uh, Evil Jinx. It is a man in the middle attack framework. We can use it for phishing login credential and it also allows us to bypass the two-factor authentication the next tool is gofish it is an open source phishing toolkit this tool is ideal for pen testers and organizations they can use it as a phishing simulation platform for security awareness and training purpose another great tool is the hive this is also an open source and free incident response platform so these are all the tools and there are some miscellaneous and other updates. I will provide the link into description if you are looking for some specific information. Now let's go through the installation. To begin installation, first we search Kali Linux downloads into Google and look for the Kali.org. This is the official website of Kali Linux. As we click here, it provides us two options. The first one is installer image, it's also called ISO image. The second option is virtual machine, these are the pre-built images for VMware and VirtualBox. For this video, I'm using pre-built image, so click on virtual machines and this is the download page. I'm using 64-bit operating system and I'm going to install on VirtualBox. To download the Kali image, we need to click on the small arrow. As we click on it, the download has started. The file size is 2.6 gig. It will take a while. So I'm going to pause the video and will resume once it's done. Our Kali image has downloaded. As you can see, it is a 7-zip file and we need to unzip it. Go to 7-zip option and extract here. It is just extracted and the folder size is 12.8 gig. This will be your virtual machine folder. If you want to move it to other location, you can move it in case you are managing all the virtual machine at one place. If you want to keep it here, you can keep. Now go to VirtualBox Manager, open it. For this installation, we don't need to create a new virtual machine. We will just add a pre-built virtual machine. So click on Add and locate to the folder we just extracted. So our is this one. And look for the file name .vbox. Select and open. Make sure this is the selected one and click on start. Now we need to provide username and password. The default credential for pre-built image is Kali, username Kali and password also Kali. This is your Kali box ready. As you can see, it is small screen, just minimize and maximize. It will max out your screen. This is your Kali Linux operating system. It is ready to use. For Kali Linux tutorials, I will make separate videos. Make sure you subscribe the channel. Hopefully you have enjoyed it.